Hi, in this video we will continue with our gene analysis in the shell. First, copy your repository into a new directory, this time lab3. We will use the command ncbi genome download to download the human genome. First, we need to know the taxonomy ID of Homo sapiens. To do so, we will go to NCBI taxonomy browser. Here, we will search for Homo sapiens and copy the taxonomy ID. We will go to the folder data and type the command NCBI genome download with the tax ID 19606 for humans. The, the flag dash F represents the format, in this case GFF and then we specify that we want to download this into the into a directory called vertebrate mammalia. We can do the same change in the format for FASTA. This has created a directory called RefSeq vertebrate mammalia and within it there will be a, a directory for the human genome. We have two big files that are compressed. To uncompress them we will use the command gunzip this command takes a while to execute, so please be patient. Now that we have our files uncompressed, we can open them. This is how our FASTA file looks, and this is how our GFF file looks. I'm going to create two variables, one for the FASTA file and the other one for the GFF file. This will be a variable called FASTA file with the entire path and name of the FASTA file. We can do the same for the GFF file. Now we can go back to our repository and I will create a script using nano. This script needs first a shebang, which is basically a line that identifies that this is a bash script. I will use the commands we used in the previous lab and I will save the name of the gene ID in a variable. In this case, 3039 for hemoglobin. I will export all these variables so that they are available to the script. We can open it with bin. Here we have all the instructions that we previously used in the previous lab. We are referring to each file depending on their location. For example, here I have one file that will be saved in the data directory while here I have a file that will be saved in the results directory. We can close Vim by typing column WQ exclamation mark. If we type bash gene analysis sh, we will run the script. Now we can go to data and see the files that we have created. And we can do the same in results. We can open this file and we will see the amino acid sequence. We can repeat this analysis for any other gene in this chromosome and we will obtain similar results. Just change the variable for gene ID and rerun the script. Finally, we can go back to our repository and add our files, commit them and then push them into our remote repository. That way, other people will be able to see them. Type your password and check if your files are in the remote repository. Perfect. 